Robert Skyrick, a senior product manager with Emerson's machinery health management business. And when I talk to end users, I hear both from the automation and from the reliability departments that they're looking for new ways to monitor the health of their rotating assets. The issues I hear is they're losing personnel and they're losing skilled personnel. So there are fewer people who can determine what's happening with a piece of rotating equipment. This leads to unplanned shutdowns which impact the bottom line. Well, what if operators could use simple principles to identify developing mechanical faults, easily trend the severity of the defect, and flag maintenance personnel well in advance of failure. That's what Emerson's patented PeakView technology makes possible for the first time. PeakView provides meaningful alerts that are not possible with traditional vibration measurements. What you see here behind me is a trend of a typical rolling element bearing on a typical process pump perhaps running at 1800 RPM as it moves from a good bearing through the four stages of bearing defect towards a failure. On the top half of the screen you see indicated values in both inches per second and millimeters per second as we move through stages one through three of the bearing defect. There's no noticeable change in the amplitudes and that's represented in the trend as well. In contrast, if you look at Emerson's patented peak view measurements, you'll see that as we move through the three stages of bearing failure, the peak view impacting levels measured in G's increase proportionately. And in the trend, it's very clear to see that the level rises from zero towards a significant amplitude. As we move into the fourth and final stage of bearing failure, what you see is that the overall vibration still has no substantial change until the point of actual machine failure, represented in the graph here. So the overall vibration will indicate that the machine has failed, but typically provides little or no advanced warning. In contrast, if we look at peak view, the peak view amplitudes continue to increase upwards of 50 Gs, rising as high in some cases as 80 or 100 Gs prior to the failure of the bearing. Looking at the trend, you can see the continued upward uh, slope of the curve of the peak view graph indicating that the machine is moving towards failure. Peak view is excellent for diagnosing and tracking rolling element bearing defects as illustrated in this chart. It also applies very well to gearbox analysis and in addition it can alert operators to two of the most common root cause problems leading to mechanical defects. That would be insufficient lubrication and, on process pumps, cavitation. Now let's summarize the way to look at peak view in the control room setting. The first principle that we use to monitor peak view is referred to as the zero principle. The zero principle states that a good machine properly installed and well lubricating should have impacting that is at or close to zero. Very intuitive, zero is good. The second principle that's applied when monitoring peak view is referred to as the rule of tens. The rule of tens applies for rolling element bearing machines operating between 1000 and 4000 RPM and it simply states when the peak view levels reach 10, there is some problem developing on the machine. When they double to 20, there is a serious problem on the machine. And when they double again to 40, there is a critical problem on the machine. So peak view, for the first time, is bringing reliability to the control room. It's intuitive, it's accurate, 
and it's conclusive. In summary, Emerson's patented peak view technology makes it possible for the first time to monitor the health of rotating equipment from the control room. Operators can see defects at their onset, track them through the progression of the defect, and engage maintenance to either mitigate or in some cases completely eliminate the cause of a shutdown. Thank you and please check out our website for other materials.